So as plumbers and heating engineers, I think every single one of us has been called out to a frozen condensed pipe. Frozen condensed pipe on a boiler, a combi or a condensing boiler means that it's going to shut the boiler down. The customer is going to have no hot water, no heat in while that condensed pipe is frozen. I think they've had this problem with this boiler. Now I've got a solution for that problem and we're going to be fitting it onto this boiler. The reason it's going on this boiler is, let me show you, this is the condensed pipe currently coming out of the boiler. As you can see, there's nothing attached to it. There's a drain down here. I think over the period of time, the pipe work that has been down here going to that drain gully has frozen up. They've probably had an emergency plumber come out, cut this pipe, freed up all the frozen pipe work that was there and got their boiler back up and running. But in this video, I've got a product for you that we put onto a condensed pipe and it stops it freezing up. I'm Mark, this is Real World Plumbing. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and let me show you exactly how we're gonna sort this issue out. So then, as you will have seen in the intro, we've got a combi boiler here, and as I showed you around the side, they've had a condensed pipe in previously. Now, the way this looks is the plumber has been called out to a frozen pipe here, and he's just cut that off there, got the customer's boiler up and running again, as we would do if there's loads of emergencies coming in with frozen condensed pipes. I've got a solution for it, and it is the Boiler Trace Condensed Trace Heater Kit. Now this is from a company called First Trace Heating. You will probably know them a lot better as Snug Underfloor Heating. It's the same company. I think how it works is that the main company is First Trace Heating and then Snug Underfloor Heating is part of that company. Either way, this is from the same company. Now, it's a trace heater system. So what it's gonna do is, we're gonna come through here, we're gonna get rid of that, come through here in inch and a quarter pipe, put the condensed pipe into it, and then externally, it'll have inch and a quarter pipe. Now, this boiler trace, trace heater kit works with this pipe work here. I'll unpack it all and show you. It connects into the pipe work, into the inch and a quarter pipe work that's gonna run down. It can either go internally or externally. And what it does, it connects into a feed. So we'll take the feed from the boiler, but you can put it onto a plug. It basically puts a current all the way through when the temperature drops below three degrees. So we'll get onto that later on, but first of all, what I'm gonna do is take all of this out and refit a new inch and a quarter waste pipe from that gully up into here, reconnect the condensed pipe in. We can then begin fitting the boiler trace onto it. But first off, let's get that done. So first thing we've got to do is call a hole through the wall here. I've just started it here. I've took that box off that was there. Just started it here. I've got my drill out there ready to go through. So we'll fire that straight through there and then we can begin getting the inch and a quarter waste pipe through there and outside clipped onto the wall down into the drain. So with a hole cord through there now, we'll just pop our little pipe cover on there and we're ready for the inch and a quarter to go through. So that's the pipe work connected internally. That's the condensed pipe coming straight out the bottom of the boiler, couple of 45s into our inch and a quarter pipe here. Pop straight through the wall. So with that going through there, we can go outside now, do the pipe work down the wall and across to the gully. So with that sorted inside, the condensed coming into that pipe, I'm now down in this little passageway. Put it this way, I know why that's frozen up because it is absolutely freezing down in this little passageway. The wind is whipping through, so I can see why this would have frozen up. But what we're gonna do is obviously put that boiler trace in here and it's all gonna be good. So I've come out the pipe work now with a T. The reason being is the trace pipe work goes in the top. They come supplied with a little bung that goes inside the top there. And then the tracer actual feed will run down there and across internally on the pipe. If there's any left over at the end, we can just wrap it externally round. This pipe's all gonna be um, insulated anyway. We've got some black external insulation to go on anyway. But for now, we have gotta start getting this pipe working. So what I'm gonna do is come straight down here. I mean, look, you can see where the water, the condensed pipe water was coming through here. We're gonna reuse this hole with the cable going in the top. But you can see where the water's been running down 
all here. Yeah, it's not great for the brickwork, but we're sorting that out anyway. We're gonna run our pipework down here, across and down into the gully. So we'll crack on with that, get that in, and then I can show you exactly how we're gonna be fitting the boiler trays. So we start off, as you can see, offering up a bit of inch and a quarter solvent weld to where we're going to have it. Pop a bit of glue in there, get it cut to position, pop it in there and then get a clip on. Now, remember, we've got to put outside insulation on here, which is going to come further on in the video. But for now, we're just getting it in because we've got to get it ready for the boiler trays kit to be fed inside internally. So then we'll offer up a little bit of pipe to go along the bottom measure it foot position and get it cut and begin to install it across the bottom. So as always get some clips on there just to hold it in place and keep it nice and secure. And also while you're here why don't you hit subscribe, get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any more real world plumbing. So with this pipe work now in we've got the inch and a quarter in, down and across. Now there's a reason why I haven't connected this end down into the drain yet and we haven't put the bung in here. So let me take you into the garage and show you what comes in the complete kit for the boiler trace. So this is what you get supplied with. This is a five meter version. They come in one, two, three, four, all the different sort of lengths for the tracer pipe that you're gonna need. This is the tracer pipe that's gonna sit internally in the pipe work. This is the bit that connects internally underneath the boiler over here. We've got a junction box that is gonna connect the end of that into this. And then obviously got some zip ties and whatnot and the instructions there to work through. So what we need now is this bung to go into the top of the T and then we've got to take the tracer pipe out because we've got to put that internally into the pipe work down the side. So the first thing I'm going to do with this tracer pipe is put this bung all the way through the end like so and take it to the very far end of where this pipe work is. So we've got it right up by the external switch. This sensor here will sit on the outside of the wall. It's got two LED lights, a power light, and also an operations light and a sensor inside there that when it gets to three degrees, obviously this kicks in. But for now, with that bung in place, we're gonna put the tracer pipe all the way down our inch and a quarter condensed pipe. We start off by feeding it straight down the T, and then what it's gonna do is work its way down the pipe and we're going to get it when it pokes out the end there. And we just keep pushing it and it will pop out down the end. There you go. Straight out the bottom. So what we'll do, we'll push the rest of it all the way in so the majority of it is through. And then when we're far enough in and we know we can mount the stack on the wall there, we can pop the bung into position like so, that can go on the wall there, and then we're gonna reuse that hole for the cable, and then we can fill that up. And then now with it poking out the end there, what I do is get the end of it, poke it into our elbow, and run that up, and just sort of leave it there, and then get our pre-cut bit of pipe that we're gonna pop down into the gully. And also, pop that up there. So now what we do is glue this into position and then where the tracer pipe comes out the end we go back on the external and just zip tie it as far up as it needs to go. And then we just bend that back to come up out the back of the pipe and then we'll just refit just refit our gully top into position like so so with that great in position this is the the rest of the tracer pipe now we just put tuck it behind the pipe coming up there, we'll zip tie it to the pipe there and then zip tie it as we go along until it's all done. It just runs out just here. As I said, this is a five meter one. They also come in, to be fair, I could have probably done a three meter one. This is the good thing with it. If you if you get one that is too long, you can double it back. If you get one that's too short, obviously it's not gonna reach the end and run risk then of freezing up. So I personally would always go a little bit longer. So let's get this zip tied to this pipe 
and then we can work on connecting it up here. So there we go, we've got it neatly zip tied to the pipe now, in running through the middle, doubling back there, and it's zip tied all the way across up and into the bung at the top. So what we'll do now is mount the sensor and get the cable poked through the hole and we'll get that filled up. Right, there we go. I've put the thermostat kit now on the outside. So I put the cable through a little bit of overflow as well, but we're going to seal all that in so it looks nice and neat. But externally, we're near enough done. All we've got to do is put the lagging on, but I'm going to put that on at the end. So let's go inside and get the cable in and the wiring done with a live feed from the boiler. Right, we're back in the garage now. We've done everything externally apart from lagging the pipe work. This is the cable that is coming from our stat outside. So we've got to connect this into this unit here now this is like a test unit it's got the reset button and a test button on it what we're going to do is mount this about here on the wall so that it is accessible to reset if and when it's needed this side of the cable is about two meters long and that's what goes to the permanent live inside the boiler or it can if need be go onto a plug top either or it's just as good and then the other side of it with a shorter one is what is going to go into this little connector box here now you can trim them down to suit so what we'll do we'll first off get this reset button mounted on the wall and work from there so we've now got the thermostat from outside connected into our test rig here just a straightforward little connector there with a box supplied just pop the cap on the front like so done so that's all nice and neat so what we've got to do now is connect this cable here into the mains onto the boiler as i said you can use a plug top if you wanted to let's say for instance there was a, a plug socket here you could just pop a plug on top of there leave it in as long as it's plugged in and on working it'll be fine but what we're going to do is connect it into the boiler so we just knocked the power off to the boiler as you can see it's all off there fuse boards up there with the central heat and just knocked it off now all we've got to do on here is find the feed in and it's obviously here live neutral and earth so what we'll do we'll take this cable here we'll feed it neat up through the grommets in the back of the boiler along through here and get it connected into the power source there when it's connected into there we'll close it all up get it all done and then we can get the boiler trace powered up so we've got our cable up through the casing of the boiler now and always remember to put that little rubber grommet back onto the cable it just seals the casing and keeps the boiler working as it should so we'll get that connected back into there and get the live neutral and earth connected into the boiler so now with the boiler trace connected into the power feed to the boiler as you can see on the front the boilers off what we'll do we'll turn it back on on the board powers back on on the boiler so we have our red light on if you can see it if you can make that out or not there we go red light on on there on the actual test point and then if we go down outside we've got our thermostat here and there you go you can see our red light on there the green one isn't on at the minute because obviously it's not under three degrees yet but as soon as the temperature in this little alleyway or in general hits three degrees that sensor will pick it up that light will come on and it will send a current down the trace pipe and it will keep the water that is coming through from there from the condensed pipe nice and warm so that it's not going to freeze up all we've got to do now is get our lagging on the front of here get it zip tied on we've got a warning notice on the front because obviously you've got electricity running down through there but it's all sealed in so we'll put that warning notice on the front let's get the lagging on this external pipe work so we'll work the lagging all the way down now this is the proper exterior black lagging i think it's like slightly denser so the material just puts off those outdoor elements a little bit better on this sort of lagging but we'll get that on and then as you can see i put zip ties all the way down because the wind whips up this little alleyway and it would blow it clean off also what we've got to do because we've got that trace cable running through it and there's electricity running through it we've got to fit this warning label on the outside of the lagging so we'll get that on and then we're near enough there on the external we just need to clip them little bits off the zip ties and we're good to go so there we go that's the warning label fixed now insulation is on i've just got to cut these ends of these zip ties off and just finish that little bit there but that is it that is the boiler trace fitted onto this system so from now on whenever the temperature drops to three degrees or below 
that boiler trace is going to kick in put a current through that pipe and stop it from freezing up so that is how you stop your boiler from freezing up over the winter i'll put all the links to first trace heating the boiler trace as i've said it is a company that also owns snug underfloor heating so i'm sure you will be aware of them everything comes in that kit all the cabling all the zip ties all the wiring it's a really nice easy straightforward system to fit i'll put all the links in the description below so a massive thank you to first trace heating for supplying the unit for this job thanks for watching hit the subscribe button hit the like button drop a comment let me know if you use a boiler trace system when you're fitting a boiler